Wow. Here we go. Come on. Now. Gabriel Union. Woo! This whole thing has been a mess. I've been waiting for it to kind of play itself out. I said, let me try to get all of this under control. Like, let me get all the details. Let me get all the juicy tidbits. You know? I said, that would make more sense here. Let me do that. Let me really find out what's going on before I make an opinion or an assessment from the outside just off initially hearing about it. Now, this is the first time many people have seen Gabriel Union since she had her Mary Jane show. Being Mary Jane. Now, Gabrielle Union, who's 47 years old, she's a parent now, and her work has slowed over the past years. But she gets a lot of sponsorship deals what she is neck and neck partnered up with her life mate, Dwayne Wade. Now, her claims that America's Got Talent, the NBC show, has been a toxic workplace. Claiming racial motivated criticisms at NBC and that the workplace was just toxic she said that they picked on her hair said Jay Leno said a joke about some dogs look like something that could have been in a Korean restaurant she wanted to go and file a complaint because of the joke. Said there are very few Asian staffers on the show. But they edited the joke out of the episode so the joke never even aired. But she still wanted the producers to go to NBC's Human Resource Department. They felt that was a bit too much. Then she said, because of her hair changing hairstyles, that they suggested that her look was perceived too black for America's Got Talent's core demographic. Now, NBC and the producers saying we remain committed to ensuring a respectful workplace for all employees and take very seriously any questions about the workplace culture. We are working with Mrs. Union through her representatives to hear more about her concerns following, which we will take whatever next steps that may be appropriate. Now, you might be saying, why is all this taking place now? Well, it's because she was fired right along with Julianne Huff. Now, America's Got Talent did not say that they were fired. They just saying they will be exiting the show.
but they were fired. And NBC says they try to keep things fresh by switching. Always switching it up. Now, Julianne Huff said nothing about her situation and saying that she didn't see a toxic relationship. She said, I had a wonderful time on America's Got Talent. I love working with the cast, crew, and producers. I'm happy to continue my working relationship with NBC. I'm looking forward to what the future holds. So, Julianne Huff seems like, hmm, okay. Now, there was a situation where she was working on a set and they were making comments about her hair. You know, and when she was on America's Got Talent, just like Gabriel Union. So, you know, these problems kept coming back time and time again. And when you think about Gabriel Union, and you think about her situation, you're thinking to yourself, why didn't she stick up with Gabrielle? But then you can take from her comments the reason why. I love my relationship with NBC. That lets you know right now, she's not, that peacock is everything to her. And she ain't really ready to give up the cock. That peacock means everything to her. And that peacock has been with Jay Leno for many years. And you think a complaint in the human resource department against Jay Leno was going to fly? No. Now, of course, Gabriel Union has been classified as difficult to work with. Now, Howard Stern came out. Because he's the former America's Got Talent host. Blamed Simon Cowell for Gabriel Union's exit. Said he set it up that the men get to stay and the woman, women get to leave. And what this is going to do is open a door. That shouldn't have been open. Now every little group is going to join in and pounce on this situation. Now Elizabeth Banks is coming in. Time's up! I'm like, uh-oh, here they come. Here they come. Now Elizabeth Banks, who's been producing... The, one of the most terrible films of the year in Charlie's Angels remake as if we needed another Charlie's Angels right now. So...
What did she do? She said, thank you, Gabriel Union, for speaking up about the toxic culture at NBC's America's Got Talent. It's time for NBC to take these allegations seriously. Join me in Time's Up Now in calling for accountability and concrete action. Stand with Gabriel Union and demand accountability from NBC. For too long, NBC Universe, their toxic workplace environment, by protecting the careers of powerful men like Matt Lauer, at the expense of women who speak out, are silenced through non-disclosure agreements. Now, it has been a devolving door of women that America's got account, talent. <coughs> Jay Leno had nothing but nice things to say about Gabrielle Union, saying that she was a great girl and everything. Had one season on the show. They replaced Mel B and Heidi Klum. They did not announce who was replacing Gabriel Union and Julianne Huff. Now, my thing was this. When they were let go from the show of judging, why didn't she walk off the show then? My thing is, if you had these complaints while the show was going on, why did it take you this long to walk off the show? Why did it took you when you were let go after one year? Was she probably under the impression that she was going to be here for years of hosting this show? And they probably didn't explain to her that it was a revolving door of hosts. To keep it fresh. I mean... The way I look at it, uh, is it a toxic environment? Probably. Did they complain about their hair? They complained about Julianne's Huff hair and makeup. Just the way they did Gabriel Union. My thing is, you should have walked. That's it. You stayed. When all of this was going down, you stayed. You were willing to stay. When they didn't go to file the complaint with human resources about Jay Leno, you stayed through all of it. 
you stayed until they decided to let you go. Now, they did this. They told my boy, yeah, they did it. <coughs> now everybody want to be up and on. My thing is, I can't tell people what to do with their life, but if you're going through this type of endurement, it would have been more impactful had you left. When this was just happening, if you were so disgusted by what was happening, leave. Walk. That's what I would have did. That's what everybody I know. If they went through that situation, they'd have called their agent. They walked. They don't wait till they get canned. Where they do that at? Now we got a Gabriel Union pity party. Here come me too. Here come everybody else. Oh, but I got some other news for you, fellas and ladies. Here's the other news. Out of all the supporting people that have been tweeting out, including Dwayne Wade, talking about his wife's bravery, standing up for some, you know who I didn't see? Who supposedly is Dwayne Wade's best friend? Where's LeBron? Where is LeBron James? What was LeBron? That's your best friend. Your right hand man. Your ace boom coon. Where was his message? What was his show of support? Where was it? He could speak out about China. But his best friends in need know where to be found. No bra. Hmm. That's strange. But this wouldn't be the first time. See, the rabbit hole goes a little deeper. But I just tapped the surface a little bit. We'll go into more later. But don't forget, hit the cash app up. Support the page. Or hit the donate button in the description box. It's your boy Carcino, man. Saying have a blessed day. And we just getting started.